Well, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we, we raised around 200 bucks. And then you add in the the Norwegian money. Oh, no, I don't know. Did you, money? Yo, you didn't hear about that? No, what Okay, happened? so, um... <clears throat> so, uh, Echo and I are commentating a match. And, uh, Travis is over there running stream. And I get a notification on my phone. Okay, because we, we had set up the stream so people could donate money. Which, by the way, four viewers, if, uh, five viewers. Spike hype! If you guys want to wanna donate money to our cause, Love 146... I'll uh I'll get to that at some point. But anyway, I get a notification on my phone and some guy from Norway donated Norwegian currency, 50 like units of it to us, which equals like 6 bucks. That's pretty cool. But yeah, yeah, his, uh, we have no idea cuz they didn't get a notification on the Twitch stream, so they didn't do it through Twitch. Mm -hmm. So we some were, random Norwegian person This is donated technically the fourth us. one we've uh, run. Haven't we opened it up to the public to donate to? Just we haven't this, gotten anything. The, this is the okay. first time we've done we've done that. Okay. Okay. Cuz I wanted to, well all right, I think we've uh, at least mentioned the organization, their website, and given them that call to action. Didn't we? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. But we couldn't really track it. Yeah. Okay. But it's really cool that we uh, were able to do that. I take it, Travis, were you behind that? Like, getting the link and him being able to see who donated? I mean, yeah, it was a joint effort. Oh. It's, it's a joint effort. Yeah. Well, it's really cool that we could do that. That's essentially what I'm saying. But... Next, next time we'll advertise more, we'll get some more uh, people. Norwegian? That, uh, yeah. More Norwegian money? <laughs> really? That, that's the crowd we need to reach out to. Norway? Norway. I'll talk to some people. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, um... This is... I. All right. Stock count... Red team's got a lot more. Yeah. I can do that. All right. So we done with that? Spiel? Wait, wait. It's actually only a one-stock difference. This game's only a one-stock difference. Because a zero suit. Now it's that. tied. And no. What? Okay. It's still relatively close. And now, now, really. now, now it's, it's not two v three and yeah. last stock. Never mind. There was a tie in stocks. Now there's not. There was there was something that we were looking at. <laughs> but. I think Smash Four triples is the perfect way to end this event. Yeah, and on the bright side, it's not even eleven yet. And what do we have? Four more matches after this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well actually, no, because one triples team bounced. Oh, one triples team bounced? Yeah, so... Did they get their money back? We have... Or? No. Okay. We have two more. We take those. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh... <clears throat> this seems like hell to commentate. Just literally talk about anything you want to talk about. Alright. I'm just, I'm just going to talk about my day. I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in all reality. What the hell? I was gonna do it. I was gonna run it and do it. What are we? Best of seven on these sets? And then, the, then the bracket reset. <laughs> Night is young. This is this is the most tired. No, it's not the most tired I've ever been after an event like this. But this is the most frustrated I've ever been after an event like this. <laughs> but hey, at the end of the day, we got to do what we love. People came together. Speaking. <laughs> so, so, okay, Travis, I'm not even kidding. Because... This was how the setup was like last time. I knew how crowded it was. I was trying to figure out a way how to get a melee setup back here so me and you could play. Because get this, okay, so I figured this out at an Unpunishable. Before, trying to play melee and Smash 4 on the same day was like the worst thing in the world. But now that I've played melee to a point where like I know what I'm doing in melee, um, I actually play melee to get better at Smash 4. McKinley, it's that, triple. It, it really is because like is melee triple. requires you to focus so much on movement and tech skill, and while especially as a game watch player, I don't really have tech skill in Smash Four. 
focusing on movement is super key, especially since my biggest strength as Game & Watch is spacing. If I don't space well, Look I will lose every day. Excellent execution and so when I play Melee, it forces me to smash. focus on movement, especially when I play Ice Climbers, yeah. because I have to space well with them too. It just translates really well. Yeah. So like at Unpunishable, Alex before like... talking about his day. In <laughs> well, not anymore. But in between like every Wii U set, yeah. I, was, I was just playing friendly Melee. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it worked. It worked. So I was trying to figure out how to get it, but I knew this was going to be so crowded. I was like, it's not going to work. For any of you guys who are watching the VOD, if this ever gets uploaded, because it's triples and it really isn't that important. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding you guys me? Are, you guys are the real MVP. This? Because right now, we might have four viewers. But if you're watching this right now and it's on YouTube, you can share this with your friends. Oh, the rest! Oh. You can share oh this hype God. nonsense <laughs> with all of your friends. <laughs> Get them to watch Why it. Are you screaming? I always scream. Okay. Actually, one hundred And watch JD, aka Gunwales, dare off the stage because it's hype. So this is this is how you play triples, okay? There's no way on earth you can focus on everything that's going around. Just just watch yourself and watch like the nearest opponent. Now here's how you really play triples. You have three people, you give each of those people a zone. Pick the biggest stage possible, and then let each person do their best in their own spot. Can we please go Peach's Castle next game? Uh, please. Only if you want to see Villager. Huh? Only if you want to see the Villager come out. Oh, do I it, please. I am not going Veo on Peach's Castle. That bumper does not huh? look very combo friendly. Oh no! I literally don't ever every costume for like no reason, just because I don't want to buy any other ones. Oh man! You're free to donate. Oh. No, we don't. We don't need Peach's castle. Or anything that requires more than four players. Will you ever see Midgar without <laughs> stage hazards? Essentially, I don't these guys are just have going to, to battle for anything on a Wii U for like the next like year of my life. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why Jigglypuff isn't dead. I feel like if there's any point in time where a Bowser down bees on a Jigglypuff, that Jigglypuff should die. I mean, if you get a. Who's that? Josh. No, but shout outs to player stock. Where would we be without them? Also, shout outs to Javi, who says hello, commentator. Yeah, that guy's been in chat all day. He's really? He literally, <laughs> like, since we went live, he's been in the chat. Pretty sure you're Egaz, and it's a shame you guys couldn't make it out. Yes! But shout outs that, to you, because you are awesome. No part of that was worth it. I'm going to laugh. I'm gonna laugh really hard if the reason Red Team loses is because Bowser <laughs> killed himself. Mario's free. You can't lose to Mario. You paid money for this character. <laughs> Stress. Wait, I paid money for that character. Fifty-nine ninety-nine, folks. Actually, if you include corn in that, that's what like sixty-six dollars. Or no, so we're, we're corn's only uh, four ninety nine. We're going to game three right here. It's game three. All right. Hey, how did how did Tech the Smash go? How did Knox do? Uh, they won. All I know is they won the crew battle um, against Chattanooga. Uh, That's it. Raymond and Kevin got second on melee teams. Nice. The media were. Shout outs to Knox's melee PM players. I'm sure you all will be watching the VOD if you're not watching the stream. So, oh, yeah. good stuff at Tech the Smash. Hopefully, you guys want it. But I don't what? Know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that squad coming down was pretty bleak. <laughs> <laughs> the Jigglypuff in the middle? Oh, that was hot, dude. Protecting our, protecting our child. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure at this point we're all just kind of slap happy. <laughs> like 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 watch like watch this. <laughs> like, <laughs> please. What have you been? What have you been doing? What? I spent from two thirty to eight. I, I, uh, I'm pretty nocturnal, and I just got a job that requires me to go in at eight in the morning, and so mm. I've been like resetting my sleep schedule. 
I think I don't I won't have a problem with that tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a part of me that wants to try to give this like really serious critical Korean analysis gummy. of triples. Oh my god, there's no such thing. But <laughs> if you want to learn how to master triples, actually it's not. The first step is to convince your local scene to regularly run it, so it's worth your time. If you can't make money off of it, then in the end, there's only so far you can go. With. I mean, yeah, you can have fun, but if you don't have any driving factor at the end of the day, you're not going to get better. Did that whole, like, custom moves fiasco ever get resolved? Uh, yeah, nobody's ever going to do it. And <laughs> the optimal punish of a misdressed. This is just hilarious to watch. Actually, I'm going to go get my phone before we play. McKinley's really carrying blue team right now. And by carrying blue team, I mean he's carrying them to the top blast zone with his up air. And carrying them to the side blast zone with his forward smash. For $5.99, you too could be doing these awesome tricks with Cloud. So it looks like one of these teams are taking this seriously. And the other one is just kind of doing stuff. But McKinley looks like he's uh, playing pretty seriously. All right. Now that it's a 3v1, I think they all want to fight for the kill. So they might also play a little more seriously too. Truest of combos, an aerial from Cloud into the Void Rocket, which does double damage, and I'm pretty sure double knock, knockback. Um, 